Um, the Russia support the Kudakulam nuclear power plant is one of the largest nuclear power stations in India. It is scheduled to have six 1,000 megawatt reactors, supplying energy for more than 22 million people. Completion of all reactors will increase the total nuclear generation power in India by 50% and all electric power by 20%. It will produce 50% more power than the largest U.S. nuclear power plant, Palo Verde, here in Arizona. Reactors 1 and 2 already started commercial operation in 2013 and 2016. The construction of reactors 3 and 4 is underway. The first batch of equipment for turbine building of reactor 3 of Kudal Kulam nuclear power plant was completed in Russia and delivered to India in March of this year. Particularly, the first two high pressure heaters were dispatched for the wide building of Kodakula power station. So, two desalination plants were built to supply water to the Kodakula nuclear power plant and nearby towns. The plants will produce 24 and 76.8 large liters of fresh water a day. The plant's creation addressed concerns about taking scarce water from the nearby dam. Nuclear fuel called TPS 2M shifts the nuclear power plant fuel cycle from operation in 12 months to 18 months. Usually the fuel campaign consists of three cycles, each lasting of 12 months. The introduction of TPS 2M at the nuclear power plant will have three cycles lasting for 18 months. So instead of the standard three years, the fuel campaign will last four and a half years. Also, according to Russian official, a nuclear fuel, the nuclear fuel, the new one, like uh, the plant uh, will be built near Kutankulam power station, uh, and it will allow India to produce all nuclear roads for its own use and for the export. Currently, intensive ground and infrastructural work is underway for units 5 and 6. Besides the Kodankulam power station, Russia is working with India on the construction of first nuclear power plant in Bangladesh at Rukpur. It will solve the needs of electric power for tens of millions of people in Bangladesh. So India and Russia have decided to complete the construction and commissioning of at least 12 nuclear plants in the next 20 years. So, it will effectively increase total electric power production in India by two and a half times and remove the deficit of electric power in the country. Do any of you have any question like one thing? What will come to the end? Yeah, at the end. So, India and Russia signed a deal to jointly produce 200 cars of KA-226 helicopters in the India-Russia summit at Goa. The Indian-Russian joint venture will be part of the major nuclear program, as stated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The chain of manufacturing among Indian companies will include LCA Innovation, Integrated Helicopter Services Limited, Valdel Advanced Technologies, Dynamatic Technologies, and Parag Forge Limited. The helicopter has an all modern design with following remarkable features. It can carry a payload of at least one ton and up to six people. The machine has excellent maneuverability and handling and easy maintenance. It has a maximum speed of 240 km per hour. So the helicopters will be used by the Indian Armed Forces. These helicopters meet the demands of one of the world's highest military deployments on the CHL glacier. The light multi mission helicopter KA 2016 is designed for operation in remote areas, rough terrains, overseas reconnaissance, surveillance, and transportation of supplies and personnel. So in March of this year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated a manufacturing facility in the country of the state of Uttar Pradesh to build 750,000 licensed Kalashnikov SO2 
surprises for India and the world. The Kalashnikov venture marks the end of India's long tortured search for a successor of, successor of the current unreliable Insas rifle that has served as the mainstay for the Indian armed forces since 1998. The AK-203 is a 762 by 39mm export variant of the new Kalashnikov AK-12 model and it boasts across the board performance improvements as compared with its Insas counterpart. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi signed $5.5 billion deal with Russian President Vladimir Putin regarding the shipment of Russia's most advanced entire craft defense system, the S-400 to India. Each S-400 measurement is comprised of two batteries and four launches each, making a total of 40 launches for five engines. The S-400 can fire four different type of missiles with ranges of 400, 251, 40 and 40 kilometers. This will grant the military unprecedented with a versatility on the battlefield. So the system provides the world's most advanced and powerful defense. Since it can reliably destroy all air objects including airplanes, helicopters, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles that speeds up to 4,800 meters per second. So five regiments of S-400 are aimed to protect up to three major cities, including the capital city of New Delhi. So Russia confirms the delivery of S-400 air defense system to India will begin early next year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi signed another $3 billion contract for lease of the third nuclear power attack submarine from Russia for a period of 10 years. So Russia will deliver the Akula-class submarine to be known as Chakra 3. The 13,000-ton Chakra 3 will have a submerged speed of 35 knots and operating depth of 600 meters. It will hold a crew of 73. And furthermore, the submarine is aimed armed with uh, four 650mm and four 533mm uh, torpedo launchers. They will fire Type 65 and Type 53, the most powerful Russian torpedoes. And the submarine potentially can be armed with 12 long-range cruise missiles. The submarine uses a uh, 190 megawatt nuclear reactor for propulsion. The Akula incorporates a double hull system composed of an inner pressure hull and outer glide hull. This allows more freedom in the design of the exterior hull shape, resulting in submarine with more reserve buoyancy than its Western analogs. The nuclear submarine will be used for better defense and security of India and her people from potential suicide threats. So in conclusion, I would like to say that Russia has been all time a ally and friend to India. It is excellent news that Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Vladimir Putin have reversed the stagnating economic relations of the past. These recent developments indicate a bright future for these great countries in economic and technological sphere. JP. Uh, 
So to build an economically um, reasonable fusion reactor, you need at least like 100 times larger scale. So like um, we talk about like 500 gigawatt reactor. And uh, so far there is no such demand. Maybe in the near future, because Asia is the enormous growth, um, you will have a large consumption. So technologically we can build it, but in Russia we cannot find uh, enough for the next for that yeah. yeah. So 